Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on geoscience. And today's topic is an exercise about Klinkenberg effect on permeability. All right, so here we have sample, some samples, and we know based on laboratory report, the absolute permeability or the air permeability Right, but many laboratories also provide the Klinkenberg permeability. And from that we can also, or they also provide the correction factor. Right, so this is the first thing. And you need to know that the laboratory will provide us with absolute permeability values, which are measured using gas as the flowing fluid. Right, but there will always be gas slippage effect or Klinkenberg effect, right? Where the gas will have or will result or will give, you know, absolute permeability with air compared to if you conduct the same test, but with the liquid as the flowing fluid, all right? Because in gas, if you inject gas across the core, the rock, right? the gas will have gas slippage effect. And thus, it will appear that the permeability of the core is, you know, is greater than if you conduct the same test using the liquid, all right? And of course, if you get the laboratory report of the air permeability, you need to correct it to be, you know, the Klinkenberg permeability, the correct permeability or the permeability that you will get if you flow fluid or if you flow liquid through your rock, through your core, right? So this is the data that, for example, that we have. We have, you know, here nine samples and we know the air permeability, the absolute permeability measured using gas, using air, and then we also have the Klinkenberg permeability and also the correction factor. And this is the full samples that we actually have. And using the available data that we have here, we want to calculate the correction factor on this left table and also the corrected permeability. The permeability which will later on we, we will use for further core analysis, all right? So that's the case that we have. So let's do this. So first thing first, we need to plot, you know, the Klinkenberg permeability against the air permeability, okay? Or sorry, we need to plot the this Klinkenberg correction factor against the air permeability, all right? And Okay, I'm going to use insert and then chart. Okay, here, right click, select data, add, and let's say for the name of the plot, let's say Klinkenberg correction factor versus, you know, air permeability. And then for the x-axis, of course, is the air permeability. For the y-axis, is of course, the correction factor. Okay, and then let's add axis title. Correction factor. And this is the air permeability in millidarsis, okay? And then change it to black color. I prefer it to be, all right, so it's like this, to be black. And then you need to change it from linear, you know, scale to logarithmic. So right click and then logarithmic scale. There you go. And then here I'm going to change it from to 0 0.1, sorry, not that, but this one, 
right click here, change it the excess value from one to 0 0.1. Okay, so it's like this. And then here, of course, we need to do trend lining, right click, add trend line, and let's change it to exponential, no, linear, of course not, logarithmic, and let's show the equation and also the R squared. Okay, so it's good. I'm going to maximize, make it bigger. And then put some color maybe. Okay, so this is the correlation that we have. So the correction factor will be 0 0.0474 multiplied by logarithmic natural of the air permeability plus this constant 0 0.6177. Okay, so far so good. So I'm going to put it down there maybe, and then it goes up. All right, and then just put it properly here. Just some tidying up. And then okay, so now we need to calculate the correction factor based on or using this correlation. So the correction factor will be 0 0.0474 multiplied by logarithmic natural ln of the air permeability plus 0 0.6177. All right, and then you just double click here. Okay, very good, so far so good. And then of course, the corrected permeability or the liquid permeability, all right? And of course, the permeability will be lower. The corrected permeability will be lower than the air permeability. Again, because when you flow the air across the core, it will have, you know, the gas slippage effect that that will make the permeability for air larger than if you get the value using fluid or using liquid, right? So of course, the corrected permeability will be the correction factor multiplied by air permeability. It's like this, double click, okay, do it like this. And there you go. Now you get the corrected permeability, the permeability which you will use along the long core analysis. All right, so I think that's all. I hope you enjoy this short video, short exercise. I hope this is useful. And thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next geoscience learning videos. Thank you.